Hello everybody and a very good afternoon, good morning, welcome along to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. Uh, it's lovely to be here with you on what I know is a very special day for our uh, US friends. Hopefully having a fantastic day with us uh, and we certainly have got a fantastic day lined up here on Crafters TV for you. If you were here with us earlier on this morning, uh, you'll have had a bit of a sneaky peek in our Wake Up Call preview show where uh, we brought you uh, lots of great deals. Basically we've got this craft along show now. So this is the calm before the storm because uh, later on this evening from six o'clock here in the UK, it's one o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, we have got our UK clearance. Um, so we've had a couple of US shows recently uh, clearing up the US warehouse. We're doing the same here in the UK as well. So uh, for any of our UK viewers who have felt a little bit left out, feel left out no more because um, we've got that fantastic show coming up for you later, which does include a lot of the goodies, well, it includes all the goodies that we showed you on Wake Up Call this morning and some other deals that we sort of give you a bit of a sneaky peek on earlier, uh, but not the actual prices of those deals. There are five deals to go live at the start of that show, uh, so do make sure you join us. This show, though, as I say, is our, well, award-winning Craft Along, uh, voted uh, as an award-winning show uh, just a few years back now, where basically we uh, strip things right back. It's all about taking time, making sure that if you want to, if you've already got the goodies that we're crafting with, you can craft along in real time with us. So at the end of the show, uh, you should hopefully have a finished project uh, along with us. If you haven't yet got the goodies that we're going to be crafting with, no worries because you can pick them up on this show and then come back at a later date to do the uh, the craft along at a time that suits you. However, uh, if you are thinking about doing it live, we'll give you opportunity to pick up all the bits and pieces that you need. Hopefully, you might have seen the little Facebook post that we put out there so you've got them all ready to go. If you are crafting along live with us, do let us know over the course of the show. Uh, and as always, you can stop us. You can ask us to uh, repeat. You can jump in. It's your show, basically, so uh, make sure you're nice and interactive with us. Who's leading the craft along, though, I hear you ask? Well, do you know what? We were chatting about this before the show. I feel like I've not done a craft along in absolutely ages, and ditto that with the lady who leads this one. It is the one and only, the Barnsley Bombshell, Debbie Robinson. Yes, thank you very much, Ben. And I really, we were chatting before, because mm. they were saying to me, when did you last do a craft along? And I'm genuinely, I'm going to tell you right now, genuinely, without looking at my diary, I couldn't tell you the last no. time I did a craft along. Um, I'm sure somebody out there will know, but uh, I'm really looking forward to this one. And I, it was a bit of, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you as it is, sometimes as craft experts, we have to think on how we're going to make the craft along tie in to the theme that we've been given. Mm. So I've been given the scattered borders and dies. And I was doing it, I'm not going to lie, it was a Sunday and I was thinking, I, I don't know, you know, I have a head-scratching moment and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these because there were lots of things I could have done with them, like lots of different things. But I was thinking, at the end of the day, it's a corner die and a border die. Yeah. So I was thinking, what can I do to make it a bit interesting? So I thought, do you know what? You know me, you know I love a concept card. I love it, constructing concept cards. Um, and I was having a little peruse around, caught my eye from a previous one, our lovely Sandy Brooks, I will tell you, one of our design team members. I saw a card she did with the animals with attitude, fell in love with it. Um, and I've taken that concept, but given me own little twist and me own little play on it. And then, of course, brought the scattered border dies and corners into this as well. Um, so this is the card that you're going to be making. I'm, I'm sticking nice. to a card, which looks beautiful, but it's the inside yeah. that has the wow factor. And it's, it's, it's all based around cubes. I love cube cards. Um, Sam, our lovely Sam, who works in the main office, was telling me, oh, Debbie, you could have put some bottoms on the bottom. And this could have been a desktop with like oh, little yes. envelopes in there, little notelets, little things, little sweets. And I thought afterwards, he were right. Why weren't he in my craft room on Sunday when I was trying to plan this? <laughs> because that were absolutely fabulous. But it is a nice little concept. Um, they're straightforward dies. You run it through the machine, mm -hmm. one cut wonder, it's done and dusted. Um, and I, I know there could have been lots of other things, like I could have used gilding wax, I could have used gilding flakes, could have, I could have done all sorts with it. But I thought, let's, let's have a little play. Um, and I'm hoping that you're going to love this one. Um, and it's, it's a lot easier than it looks. Um, so I'm going to give you the list because you are going to actually be creating the background papers as well. Now, if that's too much for you in this craft along, you choose a paper. That's it. That's all you need to do. Mm. Uh, but I want to show you how to make your own background papers as well. Um, so here's the list that you're going to need. So I've used the Love Hearts, the Scattered Corner and Border Die Set. You can use any of the six if you've already got these. And of course, with any craft along, you can adapt this any way, shape, form you want with any of your collections. Um, of course, with Love Mini Die, 
featured in this one because of the love hearts. Um, I've used gold shimmer ink pads to create those that beautiful background. And that's the two colours, only two that created that, which is the cosmic purple and the flame pink. Yeah. You've got a white acrylic paint marker in there, um, a multi-purpose cardstock, watercolour cardstock, matte black cardstock, um, a paintbrush. We need a paintbrush as well in there. And that's just really to move some of the inks around. Um, a, a spritz is a good one. I meant to pour a spritzer. I forgot to put the spritz, spritzer on there. Uh, but use a spritzer, or to be fair, a cup of water, and you can do a flicking technique with your fingers, which I'll talk to you about uh, later on. Uh, Gemini 2 die cutting machine. Now, I will tell you that these dies will fit through any. So you can use your mini or your midi nice. or your junior or any of your die cutting machines. I've just put that there because that's the one I personally used at home. Uh, a large guillotine. Again, you can use a small one if you've got the small one, and I'll talk you around that, how to do that. Uh, score master or a large one, the big score either. Uh, all purpose glue, tacky glue, dotty tape pen, a red liner. And I think there was one other thing that I realised that I'd not put on my list, and I'm trying to think what it was because I thought I got it here at the side of me, Ben, and I've completely forgotten. Oh, heat tool. Oh, yeah. Heat tool. I forgot to mention the heat tool. However, these paper, you know, those, those inks will dry naturally, so you don't need one. Again, if you've got one, it's brilliant. If you haven't, don't worry about it. So that's all your list. That's all you need. We'll go through all of this. I'm going to I'm going to strip it out to the construction part first. The dies will come a little bit further along, down the craft along, but we will be using them. You just choose which one you want to use. You could use the stars if you wanted, that beautiful butterfly one, any of them. Do you know what I was thinking? Yeah. The Bella Luna. I talked about the Bella Luna. Oh, uh, yeah. You could use the Bella Luna paper if you don't want to make the inks, mm. or you could make your own inky backgrounds, but choose... Bella Luna colours, um, and then use the stars as well. That'd look gorgeous. I love that I know, idea. I know. I thought about it afterwards. I'm like, why was that not in my head on Sunday when I had that little bit of a block? On why was that I'm not in your head? It? Why wasn't Sam in your craft room? I know, I know. Why wasn't he there? Uh, listen, I will give you an opportunity to get all those bits and pieces together. Let me show you the deal as well before we say a few hellos and a very important hello because we've got a, uh, a VIP crafting with us uh, this afternoon. If you want to pick up the deal, uh, ready to use this craft along at a later date, you can either go for the dies individually. So each of these sets I'm about to show you are available as individual items. So if you decide, well, I'll just go for the ones that Debbie's using, you can do that. If you just want to um, go for the dies on their own, you can. But the majority of people have gone for the showstopper deal, which is basically, without taking too much time over this, because I know we've got a lot to get through, all of the dies, first of all. So these are the designs that you're going to be getting. Love hearts. This one absolutely loves your boho dreams. Then, oh, my favourite in the set, uh, the Dazzling Stars, such a super useful die set, that one. Uh, then you've got the beautiful butterflies, or charming butterflies is the actual name of those, if you're searching for them. You've then got your floral meadow, and then lastly in the die set is your graceful dragonflies. Just for an extra £20, if you go for the showstopper, we then give you, so this is just for an extra £20, $20, uh, tape pen, you're going to get two sets of our uh, glitter card stock as well. So the lilac and also the rose gold. You'll get 50 sheets of craft card. And we're going to give you our uh, 12 by 12 uh, pastels card stock that comes in your uh, linen and also that beautiful pearl effect card as well. So all of that is in the showstopper. Basically works out an extra £20, $20 to get that. £56 or $72 is your platinum price for the showstopper. And then once you've bought the showstopper, you open up your bonus bar, you get your ticket punch to grab all of these goodies for half price. So this is essentially the Wild at Heart uh, paper pack special where you're going to get uh, your 6 by 6 Wild at Heart paper. You're also going to receive your um, special effects card stock. So there's 24 sheets there with that beautiful um, tactile card. You've got that UV uh, and also your textured flocked uh, card in there 24 sheets of our beautiful linen cardstock in the corresponding colors for the colors that you'll be uh, using within your paper pads this one here is your um, 12 by 12 again it's 37 sheets because actually the back sheet that you get in there is um, all of those sentiments which you can snip into but you know this one back to front and off by heart by now I'm sure it's a beautiful paper pad uh, you're gonna get that included in 12 by 12 and then to match up with all of that you're gonna get your uh, luxury cardstock which is a mixture of your glitter and also your mirror card all of that is available if you just want to buy it on its own for £47.20 or $64.80. However, if you pop that into your basket with your showstopper, you've got that half price. So $23.60 platinum or $64.80. 
uh, sorry, thirty-two dollars forty. Um, if you pop that in with your showstopper, few quick hellos, and then we'll say hello to our guest uh, Alex with us on the socials today. Uh, Jody says, Ben and Debbie, hello. I found some of these nook and cranny deals that I couldn't pass up. BTW. By the way, my Thanksgiving plans didn't work. Why did I say that? You knew what BTW meant. I was just reminding myself. Uh, by the way, uh, Thanksgiving plans didn't work out, so I'm staying with you all for this Thanksgiving. Well, Jodie, sorry to hear they didn't work out, but we're pleased that we're the, we're the backup plan and we are here for you. Uh, Gaz is with us, uh, saying hi to all the crew, our lovely social media superstar and all my crafty friends. Hello, Lois in Ohio. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, Carletta says, happy Thanksgiving from Arkansas. Phil Watson's in. Rhonda's in from Chicago. Happy Thanksgiving to you and Betsy through... Black says, good morning from Houston, Texas. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm cooking whilst watching, so we'll craft along this weekend. Stephanie Barnett, hello. Alicia Gordon says, good morning and gobble. And gobble. Yes, as in gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, turkey. Turkey, yep. Uh, <laughs> Thanksgiving uh, from Arkan Sias. Uh, Sarah Ibbotson says, good morning, Debbie, Ben, Team Social and Crafty Friends. Hello and a happy Thanksgiving uh, from a cold, bright, sunny Arkansas. And let us now very quickly say hello and welcome in our special guest, because crafting along with us on this craft along, super duper excited. We are off to Texas to say a very happy Thanksgiving to Rain. How are you, Rain? Good. Yay! Who's your furry friend? This is Escher. Ah. Oh. So Esha's your tuxie cat then? Yep. Um, and I know when we were chatting before the show as well, you, 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 you're, you're a bit of a, um, a cat lady, aren't you? Yeah, I have four. Mm. So, so we met uh, Carrie and Oki before the show. <laughs> uh, that's Esha. Who's the other, who's the other cat then? Uh, Mika. Mika, okay. And how, how, old's, um, how old's Esha then? Esha is 14. 14? And he and he absolutely hates me. Oh, well, I can I can see. I mean, <laughs> oh look at his. He doesn't look fourteen. He looks absolutely yep. brilliant for his age. He, he he looks a lot younger than that. Young and sprightly. Does is he um, a helping hand when you're doing your crafting, or do the cats tend to jump all over <laughs> the things? Oh, uh, they like to knock stuff off my table. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can imagine a craft room is a bit of a, uh, a paradise for um, mischievous cats, but um, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so, so is the plan to, today just to spend a bit more time with the, with the cats, or have you got any, any grand plans, or are you just chilling out for Thanksgiving? Ah, uh, chilling out with the kitties. Yeah, could be worse things to do, to be fair. Um, it's lovely to have you with us. We're so pleased that you've, uh, you're joining us on Thanksgiving. I must just say as well, um, beforehand, we had lots of people, because um, we've got you on the TV screens here, admiring your craft room and just how, well, A, how stocked it is, and B, <laughs> how um, beautifully organised it is. Is it always like that, or have you um, tidied up for the show? <laughs> it's actually my dining room. My craft room is like four to ceiling boxes. So uh -huh. I, I created a crafting area while I've been off work for the last two months because I had a knee replacement surgery. So this is my temporary crafting area, so. Wow, well, you've done a, you've done a marvelous job with it. I tell you, it looks um, amazing. How's your knee, by the way? Uh, it's still sore. I go back to work Monday, so that should be good physical therapy for me. Yeah. Uh, See, well, I got you. I got you hanging out over here with me, Ben. Yay, <laughs> look at that. Thank you so much. That is amazing. I, do you know what? When, you, when your picture first came up, I saw Sarah and I saw Sheena. I was like, where am I? And then, yes, I can see me down the bottom. Um, is this your, let me, let me get this right. Is this the second time you've been with us? Yeah. Yeah, That's I a, did one last month. Amazing. And how long have you been crafting for? Oh, gosh. Um, a very long time. <laughs> Pretty much my whole life. I started scrapbooking. Uh, around 1998 when I moved to Houston, but I've been doing all kinds of crafts for most of my life. I've been pretty crafty and creative, and I love karaoke. That's why my cats are named Kari and Oki. <laughs> well, I tell you what, someone else who loves a bit of karaoke is the uh, the lovely lady leading our craft along. Is, De <laughs> is Debbie? Um, what? what? <laughs> Maybe we we'll get a duet from you guys. What do you reckon, yeah, Debbie? Yeah, we could do a little bit of a sing song. I love karaoke. Absolutely love it. Um, what's your go-to tune, Rain? I don't have one. I've probably got like 700 songs I can sing. I do a little bit of everything from like classic rock, 80s, alternative, wow. a little bit of country. I did, I did choir. My mom said I've been singing since I could talk and I did choir all through like junior high and high school and karaoke was just kind of a natural progression after high school, so. Amazing. <laughs> I think we've, it seems like we have like a few like singing crafters. Maybe we should start some new show like, I don't know, like crafty karaoke. Do you know what I mean? We'll craft and sing at the same time. <laughs> 
Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That'd be we fun. could do. Yeah. What's your go-to song, by the way, Debbie? I'm Alive by Celine Dion. Ah, that's the that's one. That's one of my favourite ones. Okay. That, that's one of my favourite ones that I love to go to. Um, I'm Alive by Celine Anything Celine Dion, although not the really high ones. No. Um, I love Shania Twain, so mm. I like to sing a bit of Shania Abba. Love a bit of Abba, so we sing lots of Abba songs as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do, I do love a bit of Abba. A bit of Abba songs there. Uh, but I'll sing anything, to be fair. Girls Aloud, who oh, are yeah. coming back touring, so I'm really excited. You um, so, yeah. nail goals, so... You want a lot of classic rock, a lot of male vocals, but usually if I'm in a new venue and I'm kind of nervous and I don't really know the sound system or whatever, I'll start out with like Pat Benatar. <laughs> oh, Pat Benatar! Wow. I wouldn't dare tackle a Pat Benatar song. <laughs> wouldn't dare. So you must have got a good set of vocals there. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready to craft along? I am ready. Fabulous. Let's, Fabulous. I, I, I'm up for a bit of a karaoke along now, but let's, <laughs> let, we're here to craft, aren't we? So next time we get together, us three, we'll do some singing. Um, and you've got everything you need, Ray, and if at any point you get stuck or if you need anything repeat, you just give us a wave. You're in the... Uh, the <laughs> or Johnny says, show us another cat, um, and, <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll get you on screen so you can ask your question. So uh, let's do this thing. Uh, I think this is going to be a great, great show. Uh, as always, as well, if you're crafting along with us away uh, at home there too, then and, uh, do feel free to fire in any questions you might have for us if you get stuck or if you want anything uh, repeated. Hi, Linda, who's joined us. Sarah Brown in Australia. Uh, Polly Coe's with us from Florida. And Rhonda says, gobble till you wobble. Yes, right. Let's get, yeah, let's get going with the show. Oh, dear. <laughs> right, so we're going to start Debbie. with the construction. And I am using A4 cardstock. You can make this card base with A3 if you want. Uh, but because I know not everybody's got A3 card stock, I thought I'd stick to A4. Um, so we're going to start with all the construction pieces. So that'll be the main card base. Then we're going to start with the cubes. Um, we're not going to stick anything into it straight away because we need to add those pieces as we go along. So we're just going to get that out of the way and then we'll concentrate on the mats and the layers and then we'll do the inks and then we'll do the dyes. So that's the order I've got planned. Trying to think now I'm going to plan this, so we're going to kickstart straight away and do this base. So you're going to take a sheet of um, A4 cardstock, and we need this to measure in at uh, ten and a half by seven. Okay. So I'm going to take that to be seven inch straight away, pop that down. Always when you're using your guillotine, make sure it's up to the butt of your board and then along the side. And I always go onto the inner uh, line because don't forget this is an actual scoreboard as well. So first things first, it is seven by ten and a half. Now if you were using this as a full card base, it would be measuring in at fifteen and a half by seven, just in case you're using A3 cardstock. So I've got ten and a half, let me just make sure I did that. Do you know, I've got a feeling I've just done... I knew I'd done that wrong. Do you know, I thought I'm looking at it thinking, oh, I've not done ten and a half there. That's ten and a half, Debbie. It's my new glasses, Ben. Still, uh, I'm still adjusting. The very focus. Still adjusting, yes. A little bit on the tricky side. Uh, so this is ten and a half inches by seven. Then we're going to do another one because we're going to attach two pieces. And because I've actually used that one, I'll be able to, I'll be able to make it from this one. Um, and then you need a piece that's five by seven. Okay. So you've got five inches by seven inches. So that's a ten and a half by seven and a five by seven. And I'm going to put the score lines in these first before we do any cubes, because I don't want to confuse anybody. Um, so let's get this sorted first. Bring in your scoreboard. Small, large, doesn't make any difference. Um, and then we're going to put the score lines in to create the main base of the card. So pop that up to the left-hand side of your board. And then the score lines that we're going to go along to are five inches. So you're going to come down to five inches. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do um, seven and a half. Don't go too heavy-handed like I've just done with my first line. And then ten inches. OK? OK. Now, we're going to attach, let me just bring this in, because the, the five by seven piece, which I'm not sure I've got that the right way, is going to attach to that little half inch lip and that will create our card. So before we do anything, pop down here, before we start doing any score lines or anything like that, um, sorry, burnishing, make sure I've got my, I'm going to use my new tape pen. Oh yeah. Just pop that down on the edge and then take that up to that fold and attach your card base. And this is your main card base done. Let me just make sure I've got that right. There we go. These bright lights in this studio, Ben, make it 
near on impossible to see your score line sometimes. It does feel a bit brighter today. It's actually. very bright in here today. Mm. Uh, but just so you can see, it's lined up to that one. Now, so that's your ba card base. And then what you would do is you will fold this first one over and score that. So look, you can tell I've gone a little bit too heavy-handed because I've torn my cardstock, but oh, okay. I'm not going to worry too much about that. That's your first one. Then you're going to bring this one in, so it creates the... We've got a valley, and then a mountain. And then you're going to bring this one in, and that creates your card base. So uh -huh. it's like a W or an M, and that's how that one will look. So that is from your two pieces of cardstock that first started life as 10.5 by 7. It was scored at 5, 7.5 and, and 10. The 5 by 7 panel sticks onto that half inch tab and that creates your card base. So I that's see. all that done. Yep. Now we're going to move on to the cues. So literally, and I'll just repeat those measures again, it gives time, people time to catch up. 10.5 by 7, 5 by 7, scored at 5, 7.5 and, and 10. And then attach the 5 by 7 piece to that half inch tab. That's that. Easy peasy. Yes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So the cubes are the next bits that we're going to do. So we're going to bring in our guillotine again. Just put that down. And we're going to take white cardstock again. This time we're going to measure two pieces that measure the same size with this one. So we're going to come to uh, six and a half by five. And I'm going to turn it this way straight off so I'll get more out of my cardstock. So five inches. Mm -hmm. And then we've got six and a half. Yeah. So that's six and a half by five, and you yeah. want two of those. Okay. So if I do that again and just show you what I mean, I'm going to save all these bits for uh, other little parts of the card. So I'm going to come in at five inches again by six and a half. Mm -hmm. Just move those to one side, that's confusing things. And these are going to be the two tall cubes in the centre. So I'm just going to show you now, bring your scoreboard back in. And this time you're going to pop it onto the landscape way to put these score lines in. And I'm just going to show you how and where this, these are going. These are these inner cubes here. Uh, okay. You've done the base, that's the base card all decorated. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to concentrate on these two. So for these two, we're going to put some score lines in. And we're going to score at one and a half inches. Mm -hmm. Gently, not heavily like I just did a second ago. At three inches. Four and a half mm -hmm. and six. And again, it's pretty similar to what we just done when we put the cards together, but that's creating your cube. Yeah. So this is six and a half by five. Score it at one and a half, three, four and a half, and six. And then you're just gonna put those burnish lines in all the way around, and you'll see you formed your cube. And then lastly, that last one. So it'll end up being stuck together to create that cube. Oh, cool, yeah. And I'll just repeat that one with the second cube. Mm. So we've got a six and a half by five again. We're scoring at one and a half inches. Yeah. Three inches. Four and a half. And then six. And if we just move those to one side again, the board, all we're going to do is pop the score lines in. Mm -hmm. And all the way around. And then that last little one, this is the bit where we're going to stick our cube together. Yeah. So if I just pop my tape, just to show you, at this stage you could leave it as it is, but it, uh, seriously, it's so easy to do these. And then you just... I always tuck that flap in and then take that to the edge and just line it up along the outside edge. Mm -hmm. And it makes that really nice and easy. And we've created the first cube. Okay. And I'll just repeat that again on the second one. Yeah. So again... Pop your outside or your tape. Red liner tape will work. You can use red liner tape at this stage if you want to. Um, but just fold that in, and that's your s second cubes. And these are the cubes that are going to sit here, like that. Mm -hmm. However, we're not sticking anything down at this stage. We're just putting all these bits together because we've got to decorate these inside panels. We've got to decorate these panels. So I don't want you to stick anything down uh, for the time being. We're going to do a two another cubes. Now, as I said cubes, these are the little add-ons. Let me just bring this back in again. We're going to now cut these two pieces 
and then this piece. So you can see how it all forms together, can't you? Yeah. It looks complicated, but it's super, super simple. When you simple. break it down, it's Yeah, simpler, when you break yeah. anything down, Ben, it just, honestly, mm. break everything down and it becomes so easy. Um, right, so for... Let me get these right. See if I can see if I can use these bits of paper. I can. Um, I'm going to cut two of these cubes now to four and a half by four. So four and a half by four, and the same again because we want two of these. So four and a half inches by four. Mm -hmm. And if anybody wants to, you know, just to slow down, I will do. I'll, I'll show you those measurements again. But um, I'm just going to now pop a couple of little, I say a couple of score lines, um, a little bit, a, a little a little score line, because if okay. you look at this, it's not a cube now. It's something that sticks here onto the inner side. Can you see? So you've uh, only got yeah. one little left. So you're going to put two score lines here, and I'm going to show you. So let's bring our scoreboard back in. So on this section... We are going to, now then, let me see if I can get this right, because it needs to be four and a half. So it needs to be the four and a half length. Um, and then you're going to score at half an inch. Mm -hmm. Gentle score lines as well, so you're not tearing your cardstock. That's it. One inch and four. OK. OK, I'll repeat that again. So make sure that this is on the four and a half inch side. And then you're going to score at half an inch. One inch mm -hmm. and four inches. Now, this time it's not a cube. What this is, I'll just show you. Put your score, burnish those score lines. Makes a difference when you have good burnished lines, but it creates that little piece that's going to sit on the outer part of the card. And I'm yeah. just going to repeat that again. Pop those score lines in, burnish them with your scoring tools. So these two pieces now that you've got are these two yes. that go on either side. Sorry, got that there for you. Um, and that means you've got now, at the moment, we've got card base, mm -hmm. two cubes, mm -hmm. and then these two pieces that stick on this end. And then the last one we're going to do is pop the middle one in. OK. And that, to, for me, doing that in like literally 15, 10, 15 minutes, yeah. getting your construction of your card, is absolutely pretty pretty decent isn't it absolutely it's pretty yeah. decent so the last part the last piece that we're going to cut down to is the smaller inner part that connects them all together and this one's going to measure at six by three now you only need one of these so six inches by three inches is the piece that you need and then we're going to put some score lines so we're going to pop it on the uh, landscape uh, position again mm -hmm. And we've got some score lines to put in this one. It's one inch, three inch, and five. OK. And if I just move that, pop your, val uh, pop your mountain in first, and then mountains again, because these are the ones that sit either side. So it creates that that goes in uh, the centre. Okay. And if I bring that in so you can see it side by side, that is that. Mm. And then if I bring the card base in, and again, please don't stick these panels down, you're going to do all the decorating first. Mm. But they're the pieces that stick on to create that fold, and it's as easy as that to create that card. Yeah, do you know what? I'm, I'm kind of glad you're taking the time and sort of done it that way, because in, in my little mind, again, yeah, you look at the construction of the card and you think, that's hard to do, but actually, you've broken down all the construction pieces, so now really it's like... it's. it's Decorating the background, isn't it? And then it's yeah. the mats and layers. The mats and, and layers that we're going to concentrate on next. Corners. Yeah. So we're not going to stick anything down. Um, in fact, to be fair, you're done with this now. So you can put your scoreboard away. We don't need to score anything else. The scoring's done. You'll need your guillotine. Uh, but we'll do all the mats and layers for everything. And we'll, we'll, cut, we'll do the black ones first. Then we'll do the watercolour card. Because if you are going to create your background, watercolour card is what you're going to need for that. If you're going to choose papers, for those watercolour card measurements, what I'll say to you is, just use those, when, once we come to that watercolour card, those measurements that you take are into your papers if you're going to cut these into papers. Um, so is anybody, is everybody OK with that? I mean, I feel, I feel that that was quite self-explanatory. Yeah. I feel like, you know, if you, want a repeat, if you want a repeat of any measurements, and I know that not everybody will be watching live right now, and I do promise um, I'm at home tomorrow, um, and I will load up 
the full step-by-step -step instructions okay. with all the measurements on there. But I feel it's pretty straightforward, mm. lovely card. You can take this into any of your collections and create with this, um, which is what, we, what it's all about, isn't it? I know we're using the scattered border and corner dies for this particular one, but you can take this into any of your card styles. And I will give a big shout-out to our lovely Sandy Brooks because um, she actually had hers floating in the middle. So hers were pushed up to the middle. I've seen one at the top as well, looks nice. I found it a bit top heavy. I did try that one, but it was a bit top heavy for me. Um, so I like to bring it down to the bottom to create that lovely dome feature. Mm. Uh, and that, that's as easy as that card structure is. Um, I tell you what, absolutely brilliant. Uh, there's not been any questions. Or, um, or any help asked for so far on the socials, which is marvellous. And um, let's just quickly check in with uh, Rain in Texas. Looks like you were um, motoring along there, Rain. All good with you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Excellent got all stuff. my pieces set aside. I love that. Um, so we're, we're yeah, ready to crack on step. and move on. Excellent. I saw you, like, with your guillotine there going along at a pace. So, yes, <laughs> all good. Um, and no comments coming in either of um, people saying that they're stuck, which is great. Uh, just lots of hellos, really. Um, Lillian in saying, <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. I'm out and about, but down to know if Ben tried spam. Uh, we couldn't find any spam. Oh, I went looking. Mm. I went looking, Lillian. Mm. I, went to the, I went to the local... I can say it, can't I? There's yeah. no supermarkets available. I went to our local Tesco uh, shop just around the corner. I said shop, it's like a big supermarket. Could I find it? No. Could I ecky thump? It was not there. It was not there. And I wanted him to taste it. But we're working together, I think, next week. Yeah. And I've got some spam at home. So uh, I'm going to bring it up for him. So I'll have to wait a whole week to try spam. Ah, oh, shucks. Uh, Susan says, hello, Debbie. I'm loving the project. Uh, hello, team. Hope all the US folks are enjoying the holiday weekend and Thanksgiving. Uh, hi, Stephanie, who's joined us as well. And uh, also Susan who says, I'm crafting, but not this one, one of uh, Debbie's, uh, but one of Debbie's older ones, black card with cutouts, four side lanterns, Debbie's light up box with foiled acetate. Um, right, we are good to go. So, uh, next step. Mats and layers. Now, I chose to mat and layer mine up double. Um, I find it frames things really well. And, and for me, that's why I chose matte black cardstock. You can, at this point, Ben, you can choose any any card for your mats and layers, mm -hmm. any colour, you can choose whatever you want. Especially if you're using papers. Perhaps if you're using a paper, choose a paper that matches that collection. Um, so, but I, I like the framing of it. I think it gives it real framing mm -hmm. and makes it a really standout piece. Um, so for me, framing is important. That's why I like these, these mats and layers. However, there's a few of them. So let's get cracking because we've got a fair few to get through and then we've got us watercoloured ones to do as well. So there's a bit of, bit of, a bit of um, guillotine use here. <laughs> do you want me to uh, help out? I've got a guillotine over here or would that be cheating? <laughs> you'll be fine, Ben. You'll be fine, honestly. I'll, I'll, I'll be absolutely OK. Uh, right, now, I wanted to create, and I'm just going to bring this back in again, I wanted to create a really nice... Because um, how you stand it as well looks like a cube. Just oh, yeah. There. yeah. Um, front, back... And the two middles and I didn't want to cut in I didn't want to cut around and things like that so I've made them solid ones so you want four of these sizes which is and if you think about this is a card base that's five by seven you can take this into absolutely any size card you want and create a different size card I've got my five by seven because it's quite a traditional one here um, <coughs> excuse me so we're gonna cut four pieces that measure four and three quarters uh -huh. by six and three quarters and that's going to be four pieces that we create, which are our main front, middle, and front, back, middle, two sections. Yeah. yeah. So, again, coming in, four pieces, four and three quarters by five and three quarters. There we go. So you'll have four pieces that will be all the same size. OK. There you go. So that's going to be the main parts of the front and the back of the card. So that's four at six and three quarters by four and three quarters. Right, the next one we're going to move to is the inner. So we're going to come to these inner pieces here. Uh, okay. And again, I've got all the way down. Gives it a nice bit of rigidity as well. Mm. However, I'm not going to waste anything, so I've got, I've got these pieces. And I thought, you know, I've already measured them at six and three quarters, near on six and three quarters. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. Um, but we're going to measure two of those inside spines. So this is now when you come to two and a quarter by six and three quarters. OK. And again, I don't want to waste anything, so I'm going to use all my spare bits that I chopped off my, face, my A4 card. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the two inner parts of the cube. OK, so that's two of those, and they measure at um, two and a quarter by six and three quarters. Yeah. So just two of those. Now, if you want to pop it on the... And I didn't on mine. If you want to pop it on there, you're going to do four. Oh, but I, okay. I didn't on mine. No. I left that one because I thought there's, there's no need for it. And plus, you need somewhere to write. So I, I left it blank. Um, next one is the inner cube. So those two inner cubes that we did. Let me bring these back in. We're going to cut these. We need four of them for the main black parts because you've got one on this side, one on this side, there and there. So you want four of this next size, which is, let me get this right, four and three quarters, mm -hmm. that's four and three quarter inches, by a, a, an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to make the most of my black cardstock here. I'm going to chop into it this way. So four and three quarters. And this is going to be four of these. Oh, I wonder if I could get that. Let's have a little look. Oh, yes, you can, Debbie. Oof, you've Ooh, you've never no, last bit No, here. I can't. Can I? Can I? Let's just come back. Oh, you can. I think I can get away. Oh, no, do you know what? I think it might be just... Mm. Better safe yeah, than sorry. Better safe than sorry, yeah. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push it too much. So that's one and a quarter by four and three quarters, and you want four of those. Nice. Alicia says this is my first time following along, and this is very easy, Debbie. So thank you. You're a great teacher. Oh, thank you. Mm. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. That's very kind. Just making sure I've got me, yeah, one more of that. So we're gonna go in at one and a quarter by four and three quarters. Just make sure I've got that nice and straight. There we go. So you've got four that will line up onto those uh, cubes. Uh, right, so put those to one side. Yeah. So we've got three of the bases now. And then what we're going to do now is create um, the mats and layers of these. Yeah. And then the mats and layers of these. Uh -huh. So we need two at this size that I'm going to give you. So again, and you'll be able to use your spare bits of cardstock here. Um, and this one is going to measure at two and three quarters by one and three quarter. So I'll come in at one and three quarter inches. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, this is the two little ones. Of course it is, Debbie. One and three quarters by two and three quarters. So let's come down to that. And I can get two out of one piece of cardstock uh, okay. there. If I just bring this in to show you which places theirs are, that's those inner cube ones. Oh, uh, right, yeah. So I'm yeah. going to do these two. Sorry, I did it, I did it the wrong way around. It's because I, I've brought me instructions. Um, and then, if I get this right, this should be two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So two. And these are all done in inches, by the way. For mm. those who have... I do apologise. I've never even said that at the beginning. I do a lot of my measurements in inches. Yeah. Um, it's just the way I work. Um, so, yeah, these are all inches. Uh, so this is a two and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. And that's two of those. And I'll just move all of these little bits to one side for the time being. This is these parts here. So now you've done all your mats and layers yeah. with the black. You should have two for that inner cube, mm -hmm. two for the front part, mm -hmm. Four for the spine in a cube, yeah. we'll call it. Two for the main inside part of your card. Mm -hmm. And four for the front, the back, the middle section of your card base. Yeah. So four, two, four, two, two is what you've got. Push yeah. that to one side. We don't need those just yet. Um, so is there any questions on those? Because... Uh, the only question I can see is from Stephanie. He wants to know what the finished size of the card is. Five by seven. Yeah. Yeah. So if I just show you... This measures at five by seven. Mm. So five inches, seven inches, um, and that is literally how that is. Yeah. Uh, now, we have got a bit more cutting to do, but I think what we'll do is, shall we give everybody a bit of time to catch up on this? I think it's a good and idea. We'll come back to the cutting, and yep. then we'll do the inky, okay. and then we'll do the scatter border and eyes, mm. and then we'll get it done. Yeah. And Johnny did challenge. He said to me, are you sure this is going to last two hours? Yeah, it will. But I think we might even get done. I think we might get done before the two hours. I think we might be doing some karaoke before the I end of the show. I think that too. I think we could do a little bit of karaoke. Get you, do, rain, get you doing a bit of Abba. We'll get uh, <laughs> Rain doing a bit of the old Pat Benatar. I'll get a bit of Frank going. 
Uh, it'll be good. A bit of a concert to finish off the show. <laughs> um, uh, thank you, everyone, as well, for all the lovely uh, Happy Thanksgiving messages. Kim says, good morning, Happy Thanksgiving. Just finished making the stuffing uh, and put in the oven. Uh, taking a break with the parade and Crafters TV both on. Uh, Johnny and I were watching a bit of the uh, bit, bit of the parade earlier on. Amazing. First time I've seen it. I believe it. Um, and Stephanie says, in case you wanted to know, uh, dressing is outside the bird. Stuffing is in the bird. Um, all, all handy tips to know. Uh, and Shirley Ann Telsford says, Hi, Ben and Debbie. Turkey and hammer in the oven. Sweet potatoes are prepped for our famous sweet potato pies. Thank God for double ovens. Uh, right. <laughs> Let's have a short little break then. Give you opportunity to uh, catch up if you need to. Good point as well to ask any questions if you want to fire any in our way or if there's anything you need repeated, feel free to. And also, if you've got any of these goodies in your basket, get them checked out. We'll see you back here in about ooh, three or four minutes time. Hi, I'm Ben from Crafters TV. As you may know, we've just launched an amazing new website, our new home of Papercraft to house all of your crafty needs. And as we've had a bit of a makeover, I'm here today to show you how to check out Crafters TV on our sparkling new website, including how to watch live, catch up with previous shows, and how to view the latest schedules. So let's get started. First, go to the Crafters Companion homepage. Select the correct location at the top of the page. Click the Crafters TV icon on the top right hand side of your screen. To watch the show live on the website, click the Watch Now button in the middle of your screen. You'll be taken to the relevant show page where you can watch the show, shop the show and shop the day at your leisure. To view the Crafters TV schedule, click the View Our Schedule button in the middle of your screen. You'll be taken to the TV schedule where you can browse each date plus all of the shows that are on that day. You can then click on each show to be taken to a page where you can watch and shop the show. If you want to catch up on a previous show, hit the Catch Up button on the purple Crafters TV bar. Then you can scroll down to see all of the previous Crafters TV shows from recent days. If you're looking for something specific, you can click the Craft Expert, Craft Area, Shows and Date Filters just above the list of shows. Take a moment to browse until you see the show you want to catch up on, then click onto the show. You will then be taken to the catch up page where you're free to watch the show and check out all of the crafty goodies on our shop the show and shop the day pages. Enjoy. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts they're they're um really skilled at what they do and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills crafters tv is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product crafters tv is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. 
I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Stephanie says, I am going to be giving this craft along a try later on. Um, oops, needs to check the dressing. Time has gone off. Uh, there's also stuffing dinner at two. Safe to say I'm feeling very hungry today, knowing what uh, you guys are eating. Let us know if you are cooking away. What are the dishes? What, what are you going to be sharing with your friends and family later? Uh, afternoon, says Stephen, Ben and Debbie. Um, I had a day and a half from my doctor this morning to sort out my meds. Best thing is I have a yodel delivery this afternoon to cheer me up on time. Marvellous. Um, send you best wishes. Uh, Samantha says, Happy Thanksgiving, all you lovely people. Happy Thanksgiving. Hello, Barbara R. Says, Hello from Indiana. Hello. Uh, and Phil Watson says, Karaoke, or should that be Crafty Oki? So it could be potentially like a new show, couldn't it, on Crafters TV? Uh, we sing and craft at the same time. I mean, I'm up for that. I'm up for that. Just putting it out there. The uh, bosses are listening. Crafty Oki. What do we think, everybody? New shows for 2024? <laughs> I'll be there. Debbie will be there. Rain will be there, <laughs> kicking it off with us. Uh, quick look at the deal in case you want to jump in and grab it, then we'll get back to this. Um, it's the scattered corners um, dies, uh, scattered corners and borders, actually. Uh, just to repeat, if you want to go for these individually, you can. If you just want to go for the dies on their own, you can. Hit the shop, the day shop, the show um, button on the website. Most people go for the showstopper, which is all of these dies. So uh, you've got the graceful dragonflies, and they're so super useful, as you'll see over the course of this craft along as well. If you want them to be like the focal point of a project, they can be. If you want them to be an accent or like a little corner, they can be. They're so versatile. Floral meadow, lots of colouring opportunities and paper piecing there. This one's that beautiful, charming butterflies. Uh, here's my absolute fave though, the Dazzling Stars I think is going to be a super useful set from this collection. This is the Boho Dreams and then lastly is the Love Hearts, uh, which of course you're going to be seeing and have seen already today. You go for those uh, in the Showstopper, you then pay an extra 20 uh, and you get all of this which is tremendous value for money for an extra 20 pounds or dollars. Tape pen, 50 sheets of craft card, well, uh, 100, that, not 100, Ben, that says 10. 10 sheets, that would be good. 10 sheets of our rose gold uh, glitter card stock. 10 sheets of our lilac glitter card. And also you're getting the 12 by 12 um, luxury mixed card stock as well, which I mean, the value on that is incredible. 20 pounds extra for all of that. So all of those brand new dies, all of those um, items of uh, card stock and your tape pen, for just £56 or $72. And then, if that wasn't enough, you then punch your ticket to get your bonus buy. The bonus buy is all of the Wild at Heart consumables for half price. So this price on screen here is if you just want to jump in and buy the Wild at Heart paper pack, you can, that's the price you'll pay. If you pop this into your basket with your showstopper, that price is smashed in half, uh, which is 23 dollars or if you're in the US, $32.40. Incredible value for money when you consider you're getting your uh, luxury 12 by 12 pad. So that contains uh, 20 sheets in there of your glitter card stock and that beautiful mirror card stock. 37 sheets in your 12 by 12. You've got that one um, sheet at the back there with all of your sentiments which you can cut into. And then obviously 36 double-sided sheets of the most extravagant um, Card, a paper rather that you're ever likely to see so that's all uh, included you then get your matching linen card stock 24 sheets of that uh, is included as well so again you're not having to sort of shop around or look around for any more because we've done it all for you you're getting your special effects um, papers in there too so that's the flock paper and also your um, uv and then you've also got your um, six by six pad and that is just the shrunken down version of what you've got in your 12 by 12. Huge value for money again at 47.20 or 64 dollars that's great. If you get it half price within the showstopper that is a must have price. 
uh, but you need to do it in the same basket as your show stopper uh, just to mention as well we'll do a few comments um, if you are in the UK don't forget UK warehouse clearance tonight six o'clock here in the UK for you guys uh, we have got some fantastic deals to come and if you check this out on wake up call went, ah seen it all you ain't because you don't know the prices on those unmissable deals which we're going to do for you which we will reveal at the top of the show good morning Donny Am just woke up and I've prepared nothing yet for dinner <laughs> uh, Pat's joined us saying happy Thanksgiving from New Jersey I have some catch up viewing to do later on uh, Michael Adams says three more parcels coming soon what you get in Michael let us know uh, and Panda Craft says caught up uh, I used a three card instead that's yes, fine absolutely that's fine Whatever works for you, whatever works for you. Uh, we're all good on the comments. No further questions. Sounds like I'm in court, isn't it? No further questions, Your Honour. Uh, <laughs> right, over to you, Debbie. Well, it's your mats and layers now for the watercolour cardstock, or if you're using paper, these next instructions that I'm going to give you to cut down will be when you cut your paper. Right. We're using watercolour cardstock because we're going to do some inky backgrounds. I've actually lined all mine up and giving you the labels so you know exactly what you need. Um, so these are the black mac and layers. I've seen Rain busy. She's been putting hers together already and sticking mm. them down. That's exactly what you can do um, if you want to, but please don't stick the cubes down just yet because we're going to add all the rest to it as well. How, however, that's now needing a quarter of an inch down on each of those uh, measurements yeah. and the same multiples. So if I just bring this in for a second, let me just lay there all to one side. Grab your watercolour cardstock or if you are choosing to use a paper, I will not be offended at this point because <laughs> this is your craft along. You do you. If that's what you want to do, you, you choose the paper. But I'm using watercolour cardstock. So <clears throat> remember the four pieces that we had, the main card base? You're going to take this down to six and a half by four and a half. It's that simple. And you're going to cut four of them. So it's four and a half inches by six and a half inches. And you're going to multiply that by four. So four and a half by six and a half. And that's going to be four pieces that you are doing at those precise measurements. Yeah. I've You're already very decided. quick on your guillotine. You what, sorry? You're very quick on your guillotine. Whenever I use it, I, I, I always takes me ages to like line it up and just get it in the correct place. You're very swift. Oh, bless you. Do you know, mm. it's because we use it all the time. And I've, to I've told you this before, Ben. Yeah. It's my go-to yeah. tool every time when I, I die cut. Uh, sorry, die cut. Cut uh, mm. with uh, sharp measurements. It's that blade that does it for me. Yeah. So that's four pieces there that measure at six and a half by four and a half. Then you've got two for your inner cubes. Do the inner cube bits. So this is going to be two by six and a half. And that's times two. So two inches by six and a half and do you know what I could potentially get that out oh, of there oh yeah you will yeah so let's do that one so two by six and a half and that's two pieces that you need for the uh, cube then we're going to come to uh, the four pieces of the inner do you know those small little cubes yeah those you're going to measure four at one inch by four and a half so again i'm going to be able to get this out of here so let's take that to one inch make the most of your cardstock use the most that you can to four and a half let's come in again i'll use some of these bits and just measure that one inch four and a half and we want four of these uh, ben so let's take that up to the one inch mark again mm -hmm. To the four and a half. Okay. Uh, Sandra's watching, saying, amongst other things, Nunu the desk vacuum has arrived home. Yes. <laughs> Vern in the back, but you caught, yeah, Nunu with the attachment. Uh, and Linda says, I'm saving this craft along until later. I'll be using the Boho Dreams border and the Bohemian collection. That's yes, a nice idea. Yes, that's it. That's it. So in my head, I was already thinking about doing this card mm. and using some of the, um, do you know the um, stamps that we did? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, um, I forgot the name of the stamps. I can't believe mm. I forgot the name of the stamps. They're my favourites. Oh, my God. What on earth are they called, Debbie? Oh! <gasps> Scruffy little cats. That's the ones. Ooh. 
save myself there yeah i love those and then i was thinking of using one of the border dies as well in there uh, okay. um already ideas running around my head now we're going to need two for the outside uh, do you know the outside uh, panels mm -hmm. we need two of these and this is going to be two and a half by three and a half so again you just want two of these two and a half by three and a half and again you'll get two out of that one strip okay. and then lastly Right, two that measure at one and a half by two and a half. Okay. So again, let's take one and a half to two and a half, and you want two of these. And I'll show you now. I'm going to move these to one side because they're not even. But I, actually, I don't think I need my guillotine again. Uh, no, I don't. No, you don't. It can go away. Nice. Let's pop that away. Let's bring all these back in so you can see. The your measurements that you've got and the, all the mats and layers that you've got for the black panels and then the white panels so the main part of the card the inner parts that measure and the same with all of these pieces they've all got their own mats and layers now already all of these we are going to use the inks with yeah so what you can be doing at this stage ben because just so that because uh, i know rain's already uh, done hers yeah if I just put those to one side, move all these, keep these all together, because this is the bit that we're going to do all the ink technique with. It's very simple, very easy. Mm. Uh, looks stunning. You can do it with any of the inks. But okay. all of these we need to stick down. So just move those to one side. Bring in your main base card. We are going to stick into each of these. And I'm going to start doing this now to show you. Oh, so you're going to stick it all together stick before Stick it all you... together, the base mats, not anything else. Right, don't stick okay. the cubes down. Yeah. Not yet. Don't stick the inner panels. Of course, if you aren't doing the inky part and you're going to just use a paper, um, you can. You can be sticking all of the bits together and getting that in. But literally, just take that into that middle panel, middle section, and we'll do that on the front and the back and the inside as well, because don't forget, you've got two pieces here as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put all of these in. That's like so. I'm using all-purpose glue. You can use tacky glue. You can use red line tape, finger lift tape, tape. And that's why I put all those glues on. I think sometimes it's personal preference. Yeah. And I don't like telling you you've got to use all-purpose glue. You use the glue that you like best. Exactly. I always reach to this one. It's one of my favourite glues. Mm. It gives me the time as well. Do you know, so that I can line everything up, it gives me the time to put everything, because I've got wiggle time to manoeuvre it. So if, I've, if I have gone a little bit skew with, I can go back in, I can move it, because it doesn't dry instantly. But boy, oh boy, when it dries, my God, it's rock solid. Solid as a rock. Solid as a rock. Ooh, that's a song. Ashford and Simpson. Yeah, I love that song. Yeah. And then I'm just going to turn and put the two outer parts. Mm -hmm. If you've cut four, this is when you can be popping those on as well. I've kept mine white. OK. Um, and then you're just going to layer those down. And then I'll show you the cube ones, because we can let this dry. And pop that on so now what you've got is you've got your base card mats and layers yeah. on the inside and the outside I'm just going to let that dry and try not to move it because it's still wet Debbie so be careful what you're doing oh I knew I knew I'd do I knew I knew I'd move them if I weren't careful that's because I'm there we go right bring your cubes in so two sides doesn't really matter just flatten it and pop them on to either t t two next to each other by the way not not um in uh, not not missing one. You want two lined up side by side. OK. And I know our rain's already at this point. I think she's popped all hers together and we'll check in with her in a second. But just so you can get all your mats and your layers. I think the most relaxed, up to speed crafter I've seen in a craft along <laughs> is rain. I'm, hopefully I'm not jinxing that, but it looks very... You can tell she's been crafting for yeah. many moons. Yes. That's what you can tell. You can tell she's been crafting for a long time. Yeah. It's very in control, despite probably being pested by the four cats. Bless her. 
my Millie used to get under my feet because she used to like come and sit on my feet. Yeah. And uh, she was always getting covered in glitter, red liner tape, gilding, gilding flakes all the time. It's funny, it's the same with that. Uh, so Molly now, if I, because I tend to make my notes and do my prep in the morning before I come into work. Every time I sit down with my notes and my card and my pen, she'll always come up, uh, yeah, on the sofa and then she starts like, you know, like going, oh, I want a bit of attention now, walking all over the, the <laughs> notes and stuff. It's like, why now? <laughs> when I'm trying to do some work, always the same. Oh, gotta dear. love them, ain't you? Yeah, You've got gotta love to them. love them and their little personalities. Oh, I know. Uh, and I do miss, I do miss my little fur Oh, balls. I know. I and then know. lastly, so while I'm letting these dry, yeah. so you've got all of these, the last two panels, yeah. I'll just quickly pop these on. Um, just whilst you're sticking those on as well, don't forget, uh, if you want to pick up your collection, details on the screen for the showstopper, it's all of the dies, uh, and of course you're going to get the craft card, two sets of the glitter card stock, that uh, 12 by 12 uh, pad, and of course your tape pen in there, £56 or $72, and of course you've got your bonus buy included as well. Uh, if you've just joined us, we are halfway through. It's flying over this uh, craft along. We're just uh, popping together the uh, the first of the mats and layers. You're just about done there, Debbie, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. So just so you can see how I've created these, all the mats and layers are down with the black part. So you've got your two cubes there, your two outer, well, I say outer cubes, but the outer uh, layers, and then the middle one. So put those to one side, let them dry, because obviously I used wet glue, and I just want to make sure nothing's moved out of the way. Um, but yeah so what we're going to do next is concentrate on all of the bits that we cut because we're going to now create the background for all of these that we're going to sit into mm. using our ink pads so we're going to come to that in a second but let all of that dry that's yep. basically all of those black mats and layers that you can see on the front the back and on the inside the next bit we're going to do is concentrate on the fabulous uh, inks Tim is just asking, he says, um, is Debbie going to put all the instructions and measurements on her Facebook page, Tim yes. C asks. Yeah, yep, mm. absolutely. They'll be on there tomorrow. I'll put them on tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Uh, hey, Betty Weaver from Idaho uh, says, uh, well, the prep work for Thanksgiving is now done. Uh, now time to refresh my memory about how long to cook the turkey breast tenderloins. Uh, uh, Joanne Madigan says, happy Thanksgiving to all who celebrate. Uh, just got home from watching part of the parade with my grandsons. Did look amazing, that. Um, getting ready to put a pie in the oven for dinner later. Oh. Uh, Deborah Spencer says, gobble, gobble from Texas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> listening whilst watching the Macy's Thanksgiving parade. Yay! Let the holidays begin. Absolutely, Deborah. Have a great time. Uh, Michael Adams says, I have got... Oh, yeah, well, I asked you what you got in your packages. Got the Pro Sketch package, uh, card blanks, and the little vacuum, amongst other goodies. Um, right. Let's see how uh, we're getting on in Texas. It was very in, in, industrious. Is that the word? Industrious. Industrious uh, over in Texas. Uh, Rain. How are you getting on? Is it, are you all are you keeping up? You there or thereabouts? <laughs> I've um, I've got my last black mat to attach, oh, and Corey God. is scratching at my leg over here. <laughs> Come here, girl. I love that. Come here. Go, Come Carrie. Here. Carrie. Come here, Carrie. Come on. Yay! You can carry. How old is Carrie? Corey is two. Two. And are they? Is, is it a boy or girl? Uh, she's a girl, girl, and Oki is her brother. So we got boy and girl, brother and sister. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Have you always had cats? Um, I grew up. We had both. Um, I haven't had a dog since I was eighteen, but yeah, but cats are easy. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I said to Debbie before the show, if you saw your, um, uh, before the show, when I saw your cats, we used to have a cat. And I was saying, I miss having a cat because they are, they come and go as they please. They do their own thing. They're, they're quite easy to look after, aren't they? But they're, they're fun animals. They're very independent. <laughs> yeah, that's why we like them. And um, you're crafting as well, by the way. Like, you've been keeping up, as I said a few moments ago, like, really well on the craft along. You said you've been crafting for um, a while. So did you start crafting when you were in school or college? Um, I did, like, art in, you know, like, elementary school and high school. I took art classes. And, you know, I've just always been some kind of crafty, whether it's cross-stitch or sewing or I actually made my own Halloween costume this year. <laughs> oh, no, what was it? Oh, I did Rainbow Bright. You got to see this. Oh, Rainbow, Rainbow Bright. Bright. Ooh, I, I, I can't wait to see this either. I, I did not have a pattern. I actually made my own boots. <gasps> what the? Oh, my and life. Look, I made them out of a pair of Uggs. And oh, I actually that's put the, amazing. Uh, uh, other way, other way. <laughs> 
I put the tag on the back of them. That is so cool. <laughs> I remember Rainbow Bright. That was that was sort of like the um, yep. mid '80s, wasn't it? Was that Rainbow Bright? Yep, yep. That was an '80s cartoon. <sighs> Producer Johnny's just saying, not old enough for mid '80s. Surely that's what he just said. <laughs> I'm I am 50. No, I was I born know in like 73. Yeah. Wow, I never. I mean, that is incredible, and it's, it's it's brilliant to hear that you're so crafty. What is your favourite um, thing to do when it comes to craft? Is it is it um, sort of sewing and creating costumes and things? You know, um, kind of like scrapbooking, paper yeah. crafts. Yeah. I'd like to do more cards, but I do, I've done a lot of scrapbooking. Yeah. Oh, and goodness. actually, I'm keeping up better this time. I was way behind on the one I did with Michelle. So. <laughs> oh, really? To be, to be fair, Michelle's uh, what she tries to cram into two hours sometimes can be uh, can, can be quite a lot. <laughs> Saw that train that she did the other day. It's like, how on earth did she get that done? And did you didn't do the train one, did you? I did not. And I've not yet, but I've seen everybody's makes, and they look great. They do, yeah. They yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant to have you with us. Um, great company, Rain, and I uh, love the fact we can see all your pets as well. This is my idea of, like, you know, great craft along. It's a great project, great guest who's got pets. I mean, what more could you want, really, from a craft along? A sing song at the end to finish. That's it. And then that <laughs> would be... my, my, three, my three C's are cats, crafts, and uh, converse. Ah. <laughs> I, yes. I have a converse addiction. I've got, like, That's 70 it. What pairs more, or What so. more do you need? How many pairs? How many? Like seventy or seventy-five or something like that. Oh my life! Have you got? Have you? Got... I have a problem. What? How? I'm just wondering where you keep them all. Have you got like st like a storage unit? Uh, <laughs> big shoe rack. <laughs> <laughs> it's got its own room. I bet mean, they've got their own room. That is. Brilliant. Yeah, oh, Ray, this is so good. Uh, absolutely brilliant. Um, I think we're just about ready to um, to move on. Um, by the way, as well, if you are at home watching right now and you're thinking, oh, I'd like to uh, like to get in on the next Craft Along, do keep watching the socials because we do put up posts uh, now and again when we ask for um, guests to come along and join us. So if you, if you think you, you'd quite like to get involved, um, then we would love to have you on, particularly if you've got a house full of pets. <laughs> Uh, or shoes. <laughs> uh, Mo number two says, hello, uh, I'm just in time for this gorgeous cat. Uh, yeah, I mean, brilliant. We've met um, three of them so far. Oh, no, I think you guys have seen two. I've met three. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to my fellow US folks. And wow, those boots are amazing, says Mo. Uh, I don't know who is crafting along, but you are super cool. It's rain uh, in Texas. And Donna Yan says, so many people have done the train. It's impressive and inspiring. Uh, back to Debbie. How cool are those boots, though, Debbie? Absolutely amazing. And I'm telling you why I love them. My granddaughter, Safi, she's into rainbows. She's got rainbow trousers, rainbow hat, rainbow gloves. Uh, her mum's just got her a rainbow coat. I need a pair of those boots. Those <laughs> boots will be right up her street because she loves the bright colours and the rainbows. So, I have to yeah, speak to absolutely. Rain after the show. <laughs> right, are you ready to crack on? Yeah. So we're going to make our own inks. This is the stage where you don't have to do this. You can use your papers. Um, those cuttings, that I, so those measurements I gave you, you could do with paper. But I love getting inky, and it's two very simple colours that have created mine. I've just used flame pink and cosmic purple. This is your craft along it's your choice if you don't want to use these colors if you don't want to use the gold series and you want to use the shimmer ones you absolutely can the duet ink pads it's entirely up to you how you're going to create this because this is the easiest background making you'll ever do okay you're just going to squidge some onto the desk yeah you're then going to get your spritzer mm -hmm. and you're going to spritz the water and i know there's gold running through there however I love doing this. This is when you'll take your dryer as well. So you hold dryer. Your dryer. Your, your heat tool. Heat tool. Um, because you can you can literally um, create, and I love I love doing this, Ben. It's one of my favourite um, backgrounds, and you can see the gold running through there as well. I tend to do I, when I do do these when I do do this, um, I absolutely dry off each stage. So, mm -hmm. or let that dry naturally, because don't forget you've got four to be going through there. There's still plenty of ink on there to uh, to pick up, so I'm going to take another sheet. Um, I'm not going to put any more ink down just yet, because I think I can still get a little bit more out of it. 
And the lovely splodging technique is one of my favourites. <laughs> I'm never tired of it. And there's the lovely thing as well is they don't have to be the same. They really do not have to be the same no. at all. Um, and then what you'll do is, so like I've got a little bit left there. What I'm just going to do is sweep a little bit of that up. Because what I don't want to do is when I'm popping the ink back down again, I don't want to um, interfere with the ink pad by sticking it into water. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always important to, if you're not wiping up absolutely everything, make sure you get as much up, up, as it, up of it yeah. as you possibly can. And again, just have a little play, drop a little bit down, um, let them dry. I'm letting them dry naturally for just for the time being, Ben, because yeah. I've got a fair few to get through, because mm -hmm. it's all of these pieces. We'll come back to the purple one in a second. If it's too dark for you, you can water that down a little bit more. You can see, the, I can see the gold running through this one. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, a different look you'll get as well is if you use a craft mat, not a glass mat, uh, because it tends to, like, bubble. Uh, oh, yeah. This goes all veiny and slushy, and, I mean, I love... I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I love things like this. Um, I'm going to scoop up as much as I possibly can with the little bit of ink I've got. Let me grab my poker tool. Just pop that. There we go. If you start to see it drying, again, just uh, pick it up with a little bit, you know, spritz a little bit more water. Mm. Uh, but just scoop up. I can see all that gorgeous gold. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Beautiful. And then just pop all these down. We've still got some more to do, though. So, again, um, rather than taking that into there, I'm just going to clear that off and then just pop a little bit more ink just down using the one colour. This is at a stage now, though, Ben, where you could use three, four, five, six, as many colours as you want. Yeah. One colour if you want. Well, that's it, but, isn't it? It's just a bit of an idea from you, yeah, really. It's you just change a, the yeah, colours, absolutely. Use more of them. And there's no, it's not rocket science, this, either. It's really nice and easy to, Whack it to down, pick up. Spray Whack and it down, spray it down, spritz it, pick it up. Yeah. Let it dry. Whap it down, or whack it down. <laughs> <laughs> whack Pick it down, it up, yeah. Let it dry. And again, we'll do that with those two as well. Mm. I'm not worrying too much about where it's going, because I'm going to add another colour to it in a second. Let's just pick a bit more. Oh, my God, I'm loving, 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 loving this. Are you doing it layer by layer just so that you don't get, like, contamination within the colours? Yes, or, okay. and drying as well for the right. drying stage because yeah. um, it makes a difference when you do that. OK. Now then, have I lost... Oh, it's there. I thought I'd lost one, I think, and I'm sure I've got four of these. Um, I'm just making sure I'm doing all of those four layers. And again, I've got quite a nice bit on there, so I'm not going to waste any of that this time. And I'll just do the last one. Don't be afraid, though, with these, seriously. Don't think, oh, my God, I've got to get it precise. Absolutely, you do not mm. have to get this precise. What I'm just going to do, because some of them are already drying, but I'm just going to bring them all back in. Mm -hmm. And and you can see, this is why I, lo this is why I chose the gold series, because uh, you've got the gold running oh, through there. You can see that it, shimmer drying. is just beautiful. Even mm. though I've used water to um, dilute it slightly, mm -hmm. um, it looks absolutely fab. So I'm just going to dry all of these stages off and then we'll move over to the purple one. Um, are there any more comments, Ben, while I'm just doing the drying process? Uh, well, there aren't, actually. I mean, but I think um, there's certainly no more questions coming through, which always says to me that you are um, doing a fantastic job. And we've got Perfect. the paste right, which is always very nice. Uh, lots of people, I think, just... Um, I can see lots of sort of cookery comments coming through so uh, great to know that you've got us on very busy time I would have thought for a lot of our friends uh, in the US getting ready for uh, Thanksgiving and uh, we appreciate the fact that you managed to switch us on for a little while uh, if you fancy watching our UK warehouse clearance show a little bit later on you can that's coming up from six here in the UK one o'clock uh, Eastern time 10 a.m. Pacific um, it, it's basically a show for our you know our UK viewers um, we put together a clearance for you guys because they are US viewers you've had your fair share of uh, clearance shows over the last couple of days so we've popped some great deals together for our UK viewers uh, but if you are in the US and fancy watching you are more than welcome to uh, Mo number two just says I'm sitting in my living room surrounded by my huge outlet sale hall including the G2 yes uh, and the thank you card I made for my dinner host later today um, when is someone from crafters TV coming over to help me sort all this stuff out um, oh, well, we, we, well, man, I mean, really, I mean, I, I have no objection. Have you? Well, I, I mean... I have no objection. If the boss has got no objection, I we, mean, you we'll can have me and Ben if you want. We'll come to the States, we'll yeah. We'll yeah. You no, just... hard, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, hard work. I mean, really? 
uh, yeah, we come and work for you, we come and do that for you. Have a rifle round. As long as you feed us. <laughs> she just wants to nose around. I like she goes in the warehouse. Got. Absolutely, I do. I want to know what you've got. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to do that. I'm not sure the boss would let us, but no, uh, we'll probably put it to not. her. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got all my lovely pink backgrounds done. At this stage, if you want to stop with the pink, you stop with the pink. It's entirely up to you. Um, but that's my first four done. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Shall we add some more colour? Let's do it. Purple. I'm going to use the purple. Oh, Again, yeah. at this stage, you can use whatever colour you want slap quite a nice bit down to get yourself started with um, and then again spritz let's spritz away spritz away spritz, spritz away, away. Uh, now I'm not going to cover it all up so what I'm going to mm -hmm. do is I'm going to see the areas where I think I might need to oh, add okay. so just make sure I've got have I got enough water in there? Yeah, they have. So a bit more precision required this time? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more than you would uh, like I've done. So, mm. and again, it's just so that I'm not all really like over layering. No. Now, do you know I said you needed a paintbrush? This is the bit where you could just push it around a little bit if you wanted to. If you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but I just put that on there as a little... Um, a little extra. Let's um, go on to there. So you're going to do the same across all of the cardstock here? Yeah, look how lovely uh, that's looking. So I'm going to do exactly the same. So yep. I've still got a nice bit down there. Mm -hmm. I can see these areas, though, that I've, you know, I've left a bit of white space. Um, use your brush or get your fingers in there. It doesn't yeah. really matter. Um, and just pick up. It's that lovely mm. splodging technique that we refer to. Yeah. Uh, but really creates some really nice features um, to your cards. A few comments whilst we're watching you. Michael yeah. says, this is mesmerising, Debbie. Oh, bless you. Um, Beverly says, Debbie is such a good teacher. I'll have to try this later. I'm not very good at mixed media. I look at something like this, though, and go, just, like, disengage brain just a little bit, because I think the more you think about it, the more... Yeah. you're going to worry about this is something just to like you said just have a bit of fun with. you just can't really go too wrong with this can you not at all not at all and you know you can do this with any of your ink pads yeah you can pick i mean the duet ink pads uh I'm a, I, I think i've said this many a time uh, one of my favorite ink pads that we do here um and i do that with the duet ink pads as well but you can see yeah and the thing about it is there's not no two are the same no but it does oh, i mean look it looks like paper that you'd buy it really expensive yeah. paper that you'd buy you know you'd buy uh but there's no you know no no skill required no no this right or wrong but there's no skill required um have fun with it beverly is what i would say um stephanie barnett says i'm definitely doing this later after dinner what a fun technique and i need to make more cards for a craft fair this weekend and um talking about this weekend what are you doing on saturday saturday debbie so this saturday mm. i am in uh I'm Leeds. Okay. I'm going uh, an external demo mm -hmm. uh, in Country Baskets, which right. is in East Ardsley, I think it is. Okay. Um, so I'll be there demonstrating. Now, I have got a set list of products. So it's not like I'm demonstrating absolutely everything. I've got the Nutcracker. I've got a wedding collection. Um, I've got... Um, some uh, advanced discovery kits, okay. uh, some colorista kits, right. uh, Spectrum Noir inks um, nice. on there as well. So you may see something similar at the weekend, um, um, but lots and lots of lovely things. And also, everybody who comes mm. and joins me, mm. um, if you're buying anything Crafters Companion on the day, mm. uh, free Gemini. Uh, one was won this week by the lovely Rachel a Jones. Free she, a free Gemini? A free Gemini Junior, yeah. We are doing a, a prize draw of a Gemini Junior. Wow. to one lucky customer. Who buy something? If you buy anything on the day wow. at Country Baskets, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, yeah, lovely Rachel. <laughs> Worth popping down. Oh, definitely. Oh, um, talking about that, how do you like your coffee and what's your favourite cake? Oh, now, my favourite cake's carrot cake. Carrot cake. And my favourite coffee is a caramel or toffee latte. Okay. Why are you asking me that? Well, Stacey Lou wants to know. Oh! It's rather strange. I think you're asking that for, Ben. <laughs> Looks like Stacey Lou's going to be bringing you. Oh, did the Stacey came and joined me? Uh, 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 how are you? Carrot cake. Carrot my favourite cake. Right. <laughs> and I love a toffee latte or a carrot latte. They're there my favourite go. coffees. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Stacey came and joined me when I did some demonstrations at um, Hobbycraft in uh, Sheffield, because I did yeah. one in Sheffield and one in Leeds. Um, and she travelled all the way down to come and see me, which I thought was Aww. really sweet. It she was. came and saw us at one of our theatre shows she as did. well. Yeah, yeah. Say Bradford. She, she showed me pictures of, of you with her as yeah. well, because she took pictures of you with Sarah. She's lovely, I'll say, she, she is. She's lovely. She uh, is. My favourite... No, I'm not going to be there. <laughs> my favourite <laughs> cake. I love carrot cake as well, actually. Uh, yeah, I love. It's my, Honestly, it's yeah. my favourite... Favourite, favourite cake. Mm. Um, uh, oh, I keep wanting Christina to... Because not, Christina's not done a carrot cake for a while. Um, I know, and mm. I have told her. <laughs> I'm like... Um, <laughs> 
carrot cake. Carrot cake. I missed out on the buns today, Ben. I had to go and buy myself a donut. Oh, I didn't even see the buns. Did you not? The, you know, seriously, blink and they went. What, 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 what like fairy? Cake oh, you ought to see. Um, uh, um, Julia and Tracy have got one. Oh, well, there you go. That's probably why they Just disappeared saying. so quickly. Yeah, yeah. Julia, they've got, they've got one. Yeah, no and chance. She, did, she was buying six the last time I looked. <laughs> So there's no, no chance we've got them. Now, can you see? That's all our backgrounds done. So we're just going to let those, I said, dry naturally if you want. Yep. Or um, give them a blast with your heat tool. Um, we've got Sarah, not our Sarah, but another Sarah who's crafting along says, I'm actually keeping up with Debbie. Well, that's marvellous. I love it when you can keep up. Yep. I love that. Um, and Mo number two, who said, can we come and help us sort out her stuff, is in Philadelphia. Uh, it says, super fun, great restaurants, great history, and other great crafters too. Oh, um, wow. I'd there you go. You've sold us. Yeah. I'll be on that first plane out of here. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go. It's on it's it's on my to-do list mm. uh, to go to America, but there's such so many wonderful places oh, I, I know. want to go I, to. I always say I want to go back. We went in 2006 on our honeymoon to California, well, we went to LA, San Francisco, and Hawaii. Oh wow! And it was unbelievable. It was only, it was only ten days. It went by too quickly. I, I, I like you. I would love to go back, but it's trying to decide where to go. No, I know. I, I think I, I would love to go to Hawaii. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, we went I've always wanted to do New York. Oh, I know our lovely Nicola, our oh, producer yeah. Nicola. She's in, oh, well, she's on her way, isn't she? She gone, is she here this weekend? <laughs> this Saturday. Yeah, producer I Johnny, you've been there, haven't you? Johnny's been. Yeah, and producer Craig Johnny's been. Wants... Craig loves the place, he wants to go yeah. back. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd love to be able to go. Um, who knows, one day, one I day. may just be able to do that. Mm. And then, all I'm doing is blasting this. This is just to speed up that process. Of course, the majority of this is already dried while it's been in the studio, while I've been working on the other pieces. You'll find that yourself with yours as well. Um, and now, you've got all of your gorgeous pieces. You've made your own background papers with those beautiful inks that look stunning, especially with that gold running through yeah. there. Which means, and I'm just going to make sure I've wiped up this, because I want to make sure I don't get any on my card project. So, let me spritz me um, and just dry that off get rid of all the ink mm -hmm. because what I don't want to do is transfer any of that ink onto my card base so nice and clean and then bring in now your card base because guess what you're going to do you're going to stick all your mats and layers uh, down okay so all of your mats and layers will now have their own pieces let's bring in these Ooh. so you're going to put two of those onto there so I want you to stick all these down now mm -hmm. um, don't stick the cubes just in yet get all the mats and layers down so do all those do the back yep. okay. um, but that's what we're going to do next uh, Ben so I'm going to I'm just going to be doing all of those okay uh, whilst you are sticking down we'll have a little break actually a couple of comments um, Donna says I'm happy to have any one of you to come and help me organize I live in Florida one hour from Disney and 20 minutes from the beach Donna I'm oh, there come on we're in we're I'm in there. We're Back in. in that one first. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go Florida, my goodness. Uh, Pat says, it looks like fun. I'm going to have to try this technique. Jane says, just popped in to say happy Thanksgiving. Uh, almost time to watch the parade and eat a homemade cinnamon roll. Oh, I love cinnamon. Uh, Pat says, I love carrot cake also, uh, but there's not many cakes and pies I don't like. Uh, I'm with you on that, Pat. I think we're all with you there. Uh, and Alicia says, I'm using the My Special Papers uh, for oh, lovely. the layering. Lovely. Um, if you are crafting a lot, like Alicia and Sarah, do feel free to send pictures in at the end of the show or indeed before the next one. Uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Listen, whilst you're sticking, we will take a short little break. If you've got any questions, fire them in. We'll tackle them the other side of the break. Uh, and when we come back, I guess we will um, be round to die cutting the uh, scattered corners and borders and finishing off our project. So uh, head to the checkouts or get your questions in. We'll see you in about three or four minutes. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be should coming be in. in. Should be coming <laughs> What does she do? Exactly what she do? <laughs> This is awesome! This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on catch up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, 
or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Many of our viewers bring up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking though, it might not work as well because I put too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me, um, me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you kit. just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Five man a row, five man a row, five man a row, five man a row, five man a row. Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me. Down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Uh, welcome back everybody. Uh, Tracy Kershaw wants to know what time you're demonstrating at Country Baskets. Uh, uh, starting at 10 o'clock and finish it, well, round it up about half three, four o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she's in Bradford, so he's going to pop in to say hello. That's oh, Tracy lovely. Kershaw. And Tracy, do make sure you come and introduce yourself to me because um, I had a lot of people come over this weekend and they were saying that they watch Crafters TV, but then they didn't tell me the names and I was trying to ask them and I'm like, oh, come on, tell me who you are. <laughs> so Rachel did. Rachel were telling me. Um, a lovely couple that were there said they watch us all the time, but they're silent watchers. Ah. So they don't comment very much. But uh, yeah, so um, yeah, do come and introduce yourself so I know who you are. Uh, Corinne says, I'm finally going to be back home to Maui next week, which is amazing news, Corinne. Um, apparently there is an abundance of Crafters Companion packages waiting for me there. Um, and also Deborah Spence has been in touch to say, I love those backgrounds that Debbie made. Uh, shall we see how Rain is getting on? Um, she's, as I say, looking... Uh, oh, here we go. We can have a look at some of Rain's backgrounds. Let's get your take on these... Uh, Debbie, here she comes. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ooh, Ooh, I love the colours. Love those colours. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Did oh. you enjoy that? Can I match my hair? Yes. Yes. I love it. Love it. They're beautiful, Rain. Those beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, yeah. It's such a cool technique, isn't it? I, it is. Mm. Absolutely and brilliant. Super easy. Yeah. Super yeah. easy. 
All right, uh, we've got about half an hour to go, Debbie, so I guess we're getting to the point where we're going to be doing some um, some die cutting. Well, we? I'm actually going to construct. We're going to yeah. put the card oh, okay. together and then we're going to do some die cutting. So I've just been, while you've been talking to uh, Rain there, I've just been putting red liner tape on. I think I talk about this a lot when I craft. Um, I personally prefer with the construction card to use red liner tape um, so I'm just popping on now these are the two central cubes and I'm just popping on here some uh, red liner tape I normally use a thick one we haven't got one in the studio so I'm just gonna do it with um, the, th the smaller one I think this is the six mil one doesn't matter it, it's just to stick it down um, and I'm not gonna lie construction tape is especially with something that's got movement and can you know something like this is mm. um, perfect to use so I've popped red liner tape onto the outer cubes uh, sorry to the outer layers on both end tabs not the middle one the end tabs and the same with this one I've just put two down because normally I would use a thick one but um, we haven't got one so I'm just gonna pop another four strips just down here and then we'll put that cube together. Um, it's a lot easier than it looks as well. Yeah. <laughs> you just do it in stages um, to pop it in. And then we'll, we'll do the die cutting. And I'm just thinking timing wise should be perfect timing to complete the craft along. Um, and yeah, it's. Uh, I think I've timed this one to perfection, actually. Well, you were saying in the break, I didn't realize. So you, when you have a craft along, you sort I of do. time. I time, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I time most of my craft along projects to try and get it in, because there's nothing worse than trying to tackle a project and not getting it finished <laughs> because uh, um, just because of time. But this one, super, super easy to do. That right. looks immense, by the way. Now Thank you've you very um, much. layered those down. Thank How you. it almost looks like. Oh. I know that's all... Um... Lily's just fetched me something, Aww. God love her, bless her. I was just saying we haven't got one of those in. It's like, it's so... I, I really much prefer to use the larger one, especially there. Uh, but thank you for that, because it is a simple, easy background to do. It looks like cardstock that you've bought, it but does. you've made it yourself. Yeah. And no two pieces are the same. Just It's just lovely. Now, for this one, all I'm going to show you is where you're going to pop this is if you take this up, these two sides, one's going to stick there, one's going to stick there now to do this this will be your best friend on the top of it it gives you some wiggle time you can do it with this glue straight away with no red liner tape but you'll need to hold it because this is the one that doesn't dry instant instantly tacky glue bit of movement and will dry quite pretty quickly uh, but for the time being what we're going to do is we're going to take off our red liner tape mm -hmm. and i'm just going to do it on to um in fact, no, I'll do it on both sides. It'll be fine. You can do it in stages. You can do it in one side at a time, but I'm going to do it on both. Now, I'm going to just place just over the top, and it gives me that little teeny weeny bit of wiggle time to get this into place without ruining your project. So if you bring it in, this needs to go onto that. So and I say onto it, if I just turn it this way so you can see... I'm going to line that one onto that base card and I'm going to take that straight edge and I'm going to take it up to the corner. I said the corner, up to that fold, line it flush at the bottom, mm -hmm. line it flush to the fold. OK? Now, I've still got a bit of wiggle time, but what you'll just do is, and it literally, so you can see I've not stuck it down, it'll stick together, but it gives you time to be able to wiggle it into place and not worry too much. So can you see I've not stuck it down? But you just want to make sure you've got the connection right in that central part and I can yeah. see the connections right so now I can be assured that when I pop it down okay. and rub it and that's on both sides I know that I'm okay and it's it'll sit down and it's sat there perfectly it's, that cube sat in there there's no interference with the fold um, and we're going to repeat that onto the other side so one cube in first then the second cube so let's just push this to one side okay Ooh, do you know what I forgot to do mm -hmm. I forgot to do my acrylic uh, whitewash technique over the top. Oh. I'll, I'll talk to you in a second about that. Only because I forgot that stuff. How do you get your red liner tape back enough so quickly? Because whenever I've used it... it, it Poker was tool. Uh. I can't get it up with my nail uh. in a month of Sundays. With these nails, not a chance. Uh, now, repeat that same process. So that and that and there and there. Um, again, you want it to go flush. So give yourself a bit of time. Put that red... Put that... Uh, wet glue over the red liner because you want to be able to push that up into that corner I said the corner the uh, score line I'm trying to do this so I can show you 
best way. I think that's okay, yep. Yeah. Um, and then again, the same. So it, it connects to that cube. When you're happy with the connection, I'm happy with that again, Ben. I'm mm -hmm. gonna fold it, and then I'm just gonna put that little bit of heat onto either side. And there's your cube straight away. And that's how you pop that in. Uh, the next one for me, I'm gonna pop these two edges. Now, this is the bit that I just want you to think about. Um, this is the, with the two flaps, is the one that goes on this side. This is the one that sticks on the inner part of this. So if I just try and just, it goes into the inner part of there. So the one with the two flaps, because that is going to sit, if I just can bring that up so you can see it, it's going to sit like that into your card and that panel's going to sit onto the inside like so. Mm. Can you see how that will go? Again, red liner tape's brilliant, but just give yourself a little bit of an easier time uh, by simply popping a little bit of wet glue over the top. So if I just show you now, I'm going to pop a little bit of wet glue yeah. over the top and then I'm going to come in first and I'm going to attach. So if I just, I'm going to try and do this angle, James, so I can show you. Pop that tab down to the bottom of that cube, like so. OK. Yep. Yeah. Make sure it's flush again with the bottom. If you don't, it'll not close. Well, I'm not saying it'll not close. It'll not stand it, correctly. No. And then when you bring in this down, you just tuck it. And about, let's have a look. What should we put that there? Just tuck that underneath. So you've got a little bit of gap here. But again, make sure it's flush to the bottom. I'm just gonna, and this is why wet glue is your best friend at this stage. Yeah. Until you can get that lined up. And that looks about right. Let's just make sure that's now. Yeah, perfect. So now you can close that up and fold that. And then you've got no overhang. It doesn't hang over the edge. And then you can make sure that when you lift it off, and again, I'm just gonna connect those two together. Let me just fold that in and then rub that. And that's, that's that part of it done. Then just repeat the same. Yeah. That's all we're going to do. Repeat that same. And then the last part will be the middle part. And then we're going to do some die cutting and get our scattered border and dies, which was the main focus of this craft along. <laughs> but I think it's nice to learn this project because, you know what, if you want to use these dies, you can. But there'll be many other dies that you've got at home as well, right? That you oh, can yeah. incorporate with the construction of this project. Absolutely. Yeah. Same again. That one flap goes into that bottom corner, flush to the base of that card. Uh, and again, well, the wet glue gives me the wiggle time. If I had just used wet red liner tape, my God, it'd be stuck and I won't be able to shift it. Yeah. And I'd really struggle. So it gives me time to get all of that bit into place. Then I can just make sure the attachment's right. And I think that's about right, Ben. So I'm going to bring that down, like so, and then fold that up again and make sure that when I do that, and again, turn it that way, and just give that little bit of heat to it so that it now has got your cube. And when you open it up, I'm just going to make sure that sticks down because I think I might have put a bit too much wet glue on there. Let's just come back down there. There we go. There we are. Perfect. Uh, and that means now you've got your yeah. cube card. And then lastly, and that's why I've put two pieces, now this bit is going to stick here. Uh -huh right up to the very edge. Can you see that? Right up to that inside of those two. I'm not going to bother with glue on this one. I think I should be OK. Um, but again, if you feel more comfortable, absolutely get your glue um, out to give you that little bit of breathing space in yeah. order to get those uh, pieces in and know that you're not going to you know, worry too much. Look at you telling me how good I am with getting red light tape off and I can't get it off now. I've jinxed it now. You jinxed me? Jinx. What are you like? Sorry. I'll let you off. What am I like? I know. Um, Susie just got in touch as well saying, uh, Hiya, I've been watching whilst cooking. This is my favourite craft along project in a long time. Aww. And I can't wait to make it happy Thanksgiving, says Susie. Oh, thank you, Susie. That's very kind of it you. It is a fun project, actually. And there you go. That just yeah. sits into there. When you're happy with it, and all you do is fold that in, and there is your card base. Thank you very much. And there very you are. nice, that. So I'll leave that to one side now, because now we're going to do all the decorating. Okay. It's really easy. looks really hard, and it looks like you're multi-cutting loads and no. loads. Choose your die. I'm going to with the love hearts. So we're going to cut five corners, mm -hmm. and we're going to cut four of these and i'm using matte black cardstock at this stage because that was the one that made it pop ties in with the rest of my card mm. i can't remember what i've done with my black cardstock so <laughs> here we go let's get die cutting 
And I want you to save all your hearts. I do not want you to throw your... Do you know the waste hearts? Oh, uh, yeah. Because they're the bits that are going to create all of the... Um, what? All of the... Um, the little the embellishments. Yeah. yeah. That's what I love about these. So I'm going to do a little bit of die cutting now, Ben. So I don't know if you want to... Uh, See how everybody else is doing? Any questions or uh, any... Well, uh, I can always chit-chat, you know chit -chat, me. Chit-chat, check in with Ray. Yeah, I've, we're up to date as far as the um, the questions and the comments are concerned. I think lots of people just wishing us a uh, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, let's see how Rain's doing, shall we? Looks like, again, she's up to... Uh, is she sticking? I think I can see. How are you getting on, Rain? Ah, uh, besides my tape pens acting up. <laughs> say again. Yep, so besides my tape pens acting up, I'm doing all right. Oh, you see, I jinxed that, didn't I? Because I said about the D Debbie's uh, red liner tape, and then that went wrong. I think I've jinxed your tape pens. That are being difficult. <laughs> so. are, they being di are they being uh, a bit of a diva? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, what, are your what are your plans then for the rest of the day? Are you just chilling out after this? Are you, having, like, a are you cooking yourself a special meal? or? No, nothing planned. No. But when I lived at my old place, I used to go over to my neighbors, but I moved about a year ago, so yeah. it's just me and the kitty kitties over here. Oh. Oh, which... Do they have, like, um, like special shows and stuff on the TV on there? Uh... Oh, no, the cat coming, is there? Oh, is it incoming cats? Yeah, yeah she, drove, she, she found the, uh, the piece of my tape pen that fell on the floor. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. oh the little monkey. <laughs> oh, yeah. So she was chasing it down. I was going to say, it looks like you've got enough to keep you busy then over the course of the rest of the day with the four cats. Do they all get on with each other? Yeah, for the most part. Mika's kind of, she's kind of the mean one. She kind of, her and Oki, Oki will instigate and then they fight. And But they're the only two that really ever had issues. Yeah. But <laughs> Mika's just kind of mean. Yeah. She is the meanest cat I've ever owned in my entire life. She is eight <laughs> pounds, she is the smallest, and she is the alpha cat. That sounds funny, isn't it? Like the smallest one is the alpha. <laughs> Do they um, are they house cats or have they got a cat flap to go out? Oh no, they're indoors. Oh, are they? Oh, yes, dear. absolutely. Uh, look, Safest uh, place for them. <laughs> yeah, they're no, probably right actually. And I suppose if they can't go out as well, it means that they can't bring anything back into the house, which they shouldn't, if you know what I mean. <laughs> right. The only bad thing about having cats, I say to Debbie before, we, I had two cats previously, and uh, the, the, the one who we lost all oh, probably 15 years ago now, uh, she used to bring in all sorts of things like you know, birds, uh, mice, <laughs> uh, frogs. Oh, and I say, yeah, we had a frog one time, frog, I mean, that was horrendous. But the worst was when she'd bring something in and she'd obviously kill it, and then you didn't know, and then about a week later, you'd be sat, you know, of an evening watching the TV, and you'd be like, What's that smell? And then, oh, no. Yeah, you'd move the sofa and there was like a decomposed mouse underneath oh, there. No. <laughs> That's what cats do. Oh, no. no I, do have, I do have a little bit of a backyard here, so Kari and Oki like to come outside, but I only let them out when I'm out there. Yeah. And one day I, I looked over and I saw this little lizard. Next thing I know, Kari's got it in her paws like this. And I'm like, I had to go over. I'm like, okay, let the little lizard go. <laughs> <laughs> but... I don't have to worry about like bugs or spiders or stuff in the house because if something gets in, one of them are going to get it. Is that right? Yeah, they go after the spiders. <laughs> ah, they have their uses. They have their uses. I like that. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Might have to get myself another cat. Well, it's good to know yours is coming along. Looking forward to see. Oh, here we go. Look. Looking marvelous. Oh, looking this. Looking beautiful. Looking yes. beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. There Looks we go. Marvelous. Are you, are you up to the die cutting stage as well now, Rain? No, I've got to construct it, but I do have some stuff die cut already. So ah, I, do. I, like I was pre it. I like on it. that. All right, well, we'll come back to you shortly. Um, are we? Uh, let's ask Debbie because it's uh, kind of your day, really. Um, I know we said earlier on we were going to do a vote. Will we finish in time to do a vote, or should we just say this is this is going to be the winner? Well, do you know what? We could do a vote because we could put them out now. Because I've got I've got my finished one. Yeah. Um, so we'll do a vote. Let me okay. just grab the other one and then because I'm still die cutting. Okay. And then we'll place all of them on, and that'll just tie us up nicely. Now, where do I start? The... Ah, number one. Yeah. Number one. These are the two from Wake Up Call, by the way. Number two. Yeah. And then, of course, the Craft Along project. Number three. Number three. So let's just show you. Number All three. Right. You decide. One, two, three. 
vote now. Uh, we'll do the result at the end of the show. Uh, Donna, yes, this is the thing. Donna Yamsen, this uh, project would work well with the Christmas corner dies. Yes, yes it would. Yes, it would. Yes. Um, yes. With some more sort of Christmassy colours to, uh, in your backgrounds there. Um, Craig Moss Watkins says, Happy Thanksgiving from Flagstaff, Arizona. Uh, I have the hearts and the stars. Hopefully you give this, uh, give this project a go, Craig. Um, and Mo says, I'm with you, Rain. Uh, I accepted my first Thanksgiving invite for the first time in a while for today. Uh, sometimes it's just nice to have the day to yourself absolutely you know what, i love it when i um, get to spend time with the family but sometimes when they go back down south on their own and they get the uh, run of the house to myself for a few days yep. it's equ equally as nice yep it is isn't it eh? it bit, is a bit of time enjoying your own company enjoy your own company a read your own a book thing. got no pressure from anyone no one shouting yeah. can you do with this can you do with that yeah and it's nice sometimes just to switch off that's it have that little bit of breathing space yeah and enjoy your peace and quiet your it yeah. really is so I, I totally get that yeah it's nice um, I'm die I've die cut my with love while I've been doing this so I've, I'm gonna die to cut this twice because I'm gonna put one on the inside one on the outside saving all my little love hearts I've currently got uh, three uh, borders and three corners I want four borders and five corners so I've just got a couple more to go okay. and then we'll start to construct this and I think I think we'll be okay I think we'll just get this done in time. Oh, I what think... Was that? What was he saying? He's giving me a countdown already, that, James. Have you heard him? 15. 15 minutes, Debbie, 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly 14 minutes now. <laughs> he was actually a little bit tardy with that one because you've now only got five seconds till 14 minutes. Oh, Is that my right? goodness. Is it 14 now, James? 14 minutes. I mean, really? I mean, that where did that fast, go? That, it? that that's just disappeared very quickly. Where did that go? Um, so I want another with love. I want another border. I want another uh, corner. Um, let's get that love heart there. Let's just attach those on with my... keep putting my tape down. I, I want to be throwing my tape away and I didn't, I'm not usually like that. I usually use the same piece over and over and over again. Um, clearly, I'm not. <laughs> um, right, let me just do a couple more die cuts and then we'll start to construct. OK. So... And like you said, these will go through all your machines, won't they? Which is quite uh, handy. Yeah, and I, I'll be totally honest, um, I was doing it um, at night time when I, when I finally got it all together. So I was using my uh, mini. I just ran them through a few times on my mini. What? My mini. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, so just you, you can use your mini if you want to. Um, I just want to get those pieces out and then I last... I think I've just got one... Uh, <laughs> what's he saying now? He said... Oh, he's, do you know, have you heard how he's got that evil laugh while I he's know. doing it? He's like, oh, come. You're There's panicking me. rain now as well. I can see rain working I know, working you're saying you've got into panic mode now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not panicking. No guests. We're not panicking rain. We're not putting her off. We want her back again. She's been a wonderful guest. Yeah. Um, we're it, not putting her off. It was quite an evil sort of... You can imagine it was an evil laugh, James in there it? with like a white cat yeah. that he's stroking. 13 minutes, Mr. Bond. Oh, he has got a white cat ah, as well. Has he got a white cat, really? Yeah, he's Blofeld in disguise. No. You have 12 minutes, Mr. Bond. <laughs> 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 that wasn't my fierce present. Oh, dear. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Oh dear. No, we'll that wasn't Pierce Brosnan, we'll by the way. No, we'll be absolutely Johnny. fine. We we'll, will be fine. We'll all I think be Debbie's um, been a bit eggy with this in the fact that she knows she's going to finish on time, but she's just, you know, sort of stretching it out a little bit just for the drama. <laughs> That's what she's doing. For a bit of drama, yeah. A little, yeah, a little bit of drama. <laughs> Is Debbie going to finish on time? Stay with <laughs> us to find out. 11 minutes, 50 seconds, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> right, one more corner, and that's me die cutting all done. So I think we're, I think we're going to be okay. Um, and I can see Rain's busy now, furiously trying to get it all together. <laughs> uh, James, look what you've done. Look what you've started. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now, yeah, one more corner. Let's run that through. Let's get that slapped on. Um, I've done it again. I've chipped my tape away. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. I've enjoyed it anyway. Oh, even if, uh, if anybody else has enjoyed it, I've enjoyed it. It has been fun. And as always, if you have crafted along, I know a few of us. Who did we say? Sarah, I think. Not our Sarah. Another Sarah. And who is the other person you messaged? I think it was Alicia. Uh, but whoever, uh, if you've crafted along, make sure you do send any pictures. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Yes. Um, and we will try and show those. Um, 
Maybe later on. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And if you do share this, if, if people are watching this at, uh, in the future, yeah. <laughs> they, uh, do share and tag us. We always love to see your makes. Oh, yeah. Um, Tag on, like, for, yeah, Facebook, like you say, because um, it's nice, isn't it, to kind of wake up in the morning and see your name tagged in lots of uh, Yeah, it's posts lovely. It is, it's lovely. Your makes. I know that, um, Michelle's train has been, um, has been uh, pictured quite a lot recently. Loads of people took on that, and I've got a feeling a lot of people are going to be doing this project as well, because it is a lot of fun, and I think very achievable, even if you're a bit of a newbie. I think this Absolutely, is achievable yeah. for you as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Well, I've on. just had a play around with these, uh, Ben, so I'm just going to bring in my uh, dotty tape pen at this point. You could use your tacky glue, mm -hmm. and um, I'm going to show you how I've done these, because you're probably thinking, well... Um, some of them look like a mirror image. Well, they did because I turned it around. Ah. <laughs> little little tip there, and that's when you're using like a darker cardstock. So to have that, it would look a little bit on the odd side. So all I did was I turned it round. Mm -hmm. So I glued on the side that it should be. Let's tilt this down. And then it just gives it that mirror image. So again, I'm going to pop that into the corner and uh, create that corner piece. Let's just make sure I've got that on nice and straight. That'll do. And then I repeated the same. So taking those two corners again, mm -hmm. um, I went like this and then simply, again, all I did was turn it round uh, to give it that okay. mirror image. So again, if I just do that one more time, let's uh -huh. pop um, some tape. Got the result in nice and early for demo of the day. That's good. Mm. So I'm going to come up to that. I'm going to overhang it going down that tube. I'll snip off the top parts in a second. Um, and again, just like I said, turn it round the other way. I'm hoping it's the result that I want it to be, the one that I spent a <laughs> full day working on. Well, the hilarious <laughs> thing is, I can tell you, bar one vote... Oh, no, everyone's really? Vo bar, no, bar one, oh, bar everybody's one. voted for the same thing. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 Apparently... <laughs> I'm hoping that uh, it is. Alex messaged me saying, uh, it, 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 Alex said, it's it, it, it a clean sweep, but uh, technically not, because there was one person uh, that voted for another one. And it's like, so let's pretend it's a clean sweep. I was like, no, we're definitely going to mention <laughs> <laughs> that one person didn't vote for the one I you love think it, it is. <laughs> <clears throat> but which one will it be, I wonder? <laughs> So I'm going to put my with love here in this bottom corner. Yeah. And then I'm going to take the border. So if you grab a border, I'm going to push mine down into there so it gives a little bit of an interest inside that cube as well. Mm. Um, so I'm going to come in and exactly the same as I said to you, we're going to put one one side and then we're just going to turn the other the other way. So take it down as far as you can. And when you do um, close it, it will stick down anything that's underneath there. And the same with the other, I just turned it around, so I did the reverse side of it. You can do it when you've got, like, um, a, a, ju a jewel paper on both sides. So yeah. if you were die-cutting this in pearlescent cardstock, you could absolutely get away with it with the pearlescent cardstock as well. Um, and then just take it and attach. So I've almost got, like, that mirror image reverse feature to it. Um, and then I'm just going to come to the front for a second, so I'll pop that down. Um, and then we're going to add a corner into this part, one of the borders uh, just coming down the side as well, but we're going to extend it. So we're going to pop it on at the top, and that's the thing that you can do with this. So let's just show you what I mean. And you could do this with all of the borders. You can extend them slightly. So if I just take that up to the very top... Mm -hmm. So, yep, up to that top. And then this is when I'm going to take this border and just snip in. So I'm going to run a little bit of it um, over like so. Let's pick this up. Attach together. And then I'm just going to uh, take my scissors. I've got my little snip scissors. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to cut that bottom part off. So, again, just take and cut in. Nice. Save that because we can use that again. Use the corner. And I'm going into that corner piece. Mm -hmm. This is when you can be doing your drop shadows, all those Ooh, kind of things yeah. with it as well. So you could do it with another colour. Um, I could have chose like a purple or a pink underneath there uh, to yeah. complement the um, Well, where's inks. the sentiment from? I've not seen this before. <laughs> 
Now, all of these little bits, this is when you're just going to just literally yeah. use those and dot them around your mm. card. So I've just got a few. Um, let's put one down there and then a couple just here. Um, I have a picky up pencil um, oh, in yeah. the bag, however, I haven't brought it to the table, so it doesn't matter. Do we do but those? We don't. Do we do picky up pencils? Uh, I use my, mine's from Sticks 2. I know Craig oh. posted on the other day. Um, I've used my Sticks 2 for years. Yeah. Um, and it's a pencil that's got like a sticky end. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's brilliant for this kind of thing, picking up on uh, little pieces. But you can get away with it with mm. your poker tool. Uh, you can do it with tweezers, but I've told you before, I have a love-hate relationship with tweezers. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm not even going to try and attempt to put myself under pressure because guess who's gone quiet on us? Mr Time Control there, oh, the no. countdown man. Uh, is, uh, is literally... <laughs> what, what did he <laughs> say? Fist pumping. Uh, you're going to get another one. Here it comes. Get ready. Get ready. Three, two, one. Five minutes left on Five show. Five minutes oh my left goodness. on show. It has flown by. <laughs> it has. And then all she'll do, that's the front part of it done. You'll do exactly the same. You've still got loads of hearts. Um, and just have a little play around. Now, the only other difference was, you know, in there, the white bits, I used my little border dye that I had left and just snipped it and just pop a little bit in to create a nice little effect on the top. Um, so I'm just going to snip that in, not going to waste any. I don't like wasting anything, but just add a little bit of uh, colour to that part as well and then the same on the other side. Blooming marvellous this. So I'm going to just snip a little bit of my love art off just down there to get that in and fold that in. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, you could leave it but I'm just going to pop that in. In fact this is, might be when I need my tweezers now, let me just push that, there we go. And the same with that one, just push that down, there we are. And then again, exactly the same, just add the rest of your love hearts, dot them around, and I mean dots, don't overcomplicate anything, just drop some pieces down to give it that little finishing touch and place your love hearts. Yeah. And have we got time to go back to our lovely rain? We're, yeah, having, oh, come on James, you're slacking mate, you're slacking. I know, we've got to go back and see our lovely rain. How long, how long? I'm just... I'm just going to continue to stick my hearts then. You go three back to Ray. Well, I'll tell you, for so three and a half minutes, I can tell you, I mean, you guys probably, you know already, the demo of the day. Please, please, please. <laughs> by, well, it was a landslide bar one. <laughs> one person voted for number two. Everybody else voted for number one. No, three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done, Debbie. So that's going to go up onto the Crafty Walk of Thank Fame. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I, we just, let's give Rain like a minute more because I can see her still working away and I don't want to rush her. So we'll, we'll go, we'll leave it as last minute as we can do. Um, don't forget as well, if you want to pick up the deal, uh, you can get the scattered corners and borders. If you want to go individually, if you just want to go for the hearts that Debbie's been using, you can. If you want to go for the dies on their own, you can. If you want to go for the showstopper, which brings you uh, everything else, so the tape pen, you've got that um, 12 by 12 pad, you've got glitter card, and of course all of that craft card, that's the showstopper. And then once you've got that showstopper in your basket, don't forget, you can then pop in the uh, Wild at Heart paper uh, pack special. That is available as a, as a separate deal. You can see just here, 4720 or 6480. Pop that in with the showstopper, um, and then your price on this will be um, half price. So loads of options, loads of different ways to buy. Uh, thank you to Fred as well, who sent through a couple of turkey jokes um, for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Uh, what sound does the turkey's phone make? Wing, wing, wing. <laughs> uh, and Fred also says, turkeys are peaceful birds. When they fight, they get the stuffing knocked out of them. Oh. Did -dum. <laughs> Love it, uh, love it. Right, uh, we are going to go and check in uh, with rain very quickly. Uh, come in rain, come in rain. How are you doing? Have you finished? I've started embellishing, but I've got my, I've got all my panels on. Look at this, Debbie. I've got my construction. Oh, oh love lovely. that. Go the other way. Oh, he's going the wrong way. Oh, oh I love that's it. incredible. I can't wait to see this finished, Rain. I can't wait. Will you share it with us? Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank so you. I've got some little. Oh, oh I'm wow. looking forward to this one. I am really looking forward to this. That's, is that a creator card die that you've used there? Ah, oh, yes. Um, yeah, I've got the fairy one from a creator card that yeah. I was going to use on the front. Um, this is from 
the big, uh, the center part of this one. Other way. To your right. No, other way. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Oh, brilliant. Uh, I listen, Ray. Center part for the moon. Well, uh, make sure you post and tag us in your finished project. Just we're, another die that I had. Got you. We, we are rapidly running out of time. We've got 50 seconds. Ray, thank you so much. You've been such a great guest. Thank you to you. Thank you to the kiddies as well. Uh, and have a brilliant rest of your day, won't you? And uh, make sure you uh, post that picture to us so we can show everybody else. Oh, absolutely. Thanks a lot, Rain. There she goes. Absolutely brilliant. Debbie, um, we've got 20 seconds. I know, 20 seconds. I've just put my last half on. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I did it. There you Yay! go. Yay! And then I've just got a couple more just to add up here, but you'll forgive me. Uh, uh, there you go. Thank you very much. See thank you all. Thanks. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you to Rain. Thank you to all the kiddies. Uh, we'll see you back here, UK Clearance, in an hour's time. Until then, bye for now.